let's hurry up and roll this. You gotta kind of upset it. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle. I'm Gabby. And we're black. We are going to be baking once again today. Um, if you saw my video before, you know we tried a vegan baking challenge. What did we make? The <laughs> rainbow velvet, which was yeah. a fail. Yeah, it was a fail. So we're black at it again, trying to bake better. We're gonna make pumpkin rolls this time because Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So hopefully this video will be uploaded on Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. And yeah, we're just gonna get started. We're following this Libby's pumpkin roll recipe that my mom has made before and it's turned out really good, but we've never really made it ourselves. So that's what we'll be doing. So first we need Let's see, how much flour? Three fourths cup of all purpose flour. We're sifting the flour because I told Gabby she could be the, what's it called? The head chef I'm right today. The chef. No, you aren't. Yes, I am. You don't even bake anymore. I That's taught her happened. everything that she knows. She literally taught me nothing. Gabby, who's, I literally taught you how to make cookies. No, you didn't. You You're followed a recipe. But I taught you all the tricks that I know. You taught me one trick You're that you have. Lying. You're lying on camera. She's lying. I, I make way more than she does. But I started the foundation. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I'm the trailblazer. No, you're not. If I'm Michael Jordan, you're LeBron. No. Yes. LeBron, I would argue, might be better than Michael Jordan. So. But who started it? There's no. It doesn't LeBron matter. Michael Jordan. That is false. LeBron I'm would Michael still Jordan. be LeBron without Michael Jordan. That's not true. That is true. Who do you think inspired him? Okay, just because he inspired him doesn't mean he wouldn't have found some other inspiration or become a great basketball player. Yes, it does. Gosh. <laughs> you have issues. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Issues. Okay. Okay. What's next? Um, half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna do the baking soda. You're hogging all the ingredients. Wait, how much was this? Half a teaspoon. Okay. What else has to go there? Half a teaspoon of ground, ground clothes. clothes. Not just any old clothes. No. What are clothes? This smells good. It's just a spice. Does it grow from the ground? Yeah. And then salt. How much salt? Half a teaspoon. Maybe just half a teaspoon of everything? Yeah. No. Gabby! <laughs> yeah. What is a teaspoon? I literally just put half a teaspoon in there because you told me to put half a teaspoon. Well, it's fine. Just like. Oh my gosh. Boop. Boop. There we go, that was all salt. And you're supposed to be the head chef. <laughs> you're fired. Whatever. Anyway, it's fine. It shouldn't be too salty. Mix it all together. <laughs> no. Oh, I asked my um, coworkers this question yesterday, and I'd be interested if y'all wanted to comment below, but you could answer. What's your least favorite present you've ever gotten? <laughs> I don't think I've had like a really horrible gift that I've gotten before. Me neither. Well, except for, mm, <laughs> now I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. What? Well, no, because the one time mom bought me like a lacrosse stick because I just wanted money to buy a new lacrosse stick because like it was a time where I was moving from more like beginner to intermediate and I just wanted like an intermediate stick. And like, I thought she was just gonna give me the money to buy my own, but instead she bought me one herself and it was like the worst lacrosse stick ever. That's so rude, Gabby. Why would you say that? I'm sorry, but it was. <laughs> it was a bad lacrosse stick and it did not help me improve well, my game. Just, or maybe it was the player behind the stick. No, even my coaches, because my coaches were like, like, oh, like your form is good. Like, I don't know, your lacrosse stick just isn't that great. You need a new one. Like, that's what all my coaches, to coaches told me. No. If LeBron missed the basket, would they tell him it was the basketball? Sport? That's different. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a good comparison. Okay, let's move on. Got the three eggs going in our mixer bowl. That was weird. You know, looking at one cup of granulated sugar—that's that's a, a lot. lot. <laughs> and then we got a 
cup of granulated. That wasn't even a full cup. There it was, was enough. Little, there was a little bit of sugar. We don't need that much sugar. It's fine. We'll still taste the sugar. Anyways. And then we gotta beat this together. So, mm -hmm. we're just gonna do that off camera probably. And then we'll be back. Cause I don't wanna move the camera. So now we're just gonna measure out two thirds cup of pumpkin and mix it in with the eggs and the sugar. So, oh no. Okay, pumpkin. <laughs> no, you're not funny. Yes, I am. I wonder how that tastes actually. Try it. You can eat it. I don't know if I wanna try it. Maybe I will try it. Let's see. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That was disgusting, actually. <coughs> that tastes like baby food. Do not try it. I thought it would be more sweet, but it was not sweet at all. It's zero added sugar, dude. Well, I didn't read the have finished mixing together everything. I don't know how well they can see this, but there it is. And then you wanna show them the pan that you- Oh prepared. yeah, and we just like greased a pan, lined it with wax paper, and then also greased and floured the wax paper. So now we're just gonna transfer this onto our jelly roll pan and spread it evenly. Hopefully this is fine, cause it's a little bigger than Oh yeah, it is pretty big. And the one <laughs> that it told us to yeah. use. It's whatever. So we're gonna put it in the oven for, it said 13 to, 15. 13 to 15 minutes, but we'll check on it around 11 minutes to make sure it's not on its way to being burnt. At 375. Yeah. This batter's actually really good. Though. Why didn't you unfold it before you let it sit out? Because that would've been the smarter idea. You know what? Head chefs aren't supposed to put their sous chef. That's They're exactly what they're supposed to do. Down. What do you think Gordon Ramsay does? <laughs> I don't have to be here. This is for pleasure. You do have to be here to your video. <laughs> I don't have to be here. I don't know who you think you are. So we got the softened uh, cream cheese. Yeah, Philadelphia. Just We're just gonna flop more. that in there. And then this has been sitting out the whole time we've been baking, so it's pretty soft now. You just need six tablespoons of softened butter, unsalted or salted. It doesn't really matter that much. I like to use salted. I think technically when you're classically trained, they say you use unsalted. Yeah, butter. but like, honestly, the taste, at least to the untrained palate, isn't really that different. Then you gotta add in a cup of powdered sugar. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yes, you are. are. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> it's 
dark. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna have to make another one. This is why my mom makes this song. We'll just have to do another video. We're not putting this one up there. We, we are putting it up there. We can't have two fails in a row. <laughs> The third time is gonna be the charm, hopefully. So we're gonna try again, y'all, because we failed in our last video and we just cannot present those two. So we're gonna go off camera, whip up another batter, bake it, and then we'll be back and we'll test that one and put the cream in that one. We just took the next one out of the oven, way better. Couple things we changed. We added less salt than we did the first time because if y'all remember, we added too much. And then we had forgotten to add the cinnamon, so we added it in this one. And then we used a cookie sheet instead, instead of, of that, that bigger jelly yeah. So you're supposed to take the parchment off. I think. It's fine. Don't drop it on the floor again. I'm not. We're just gonna, this is gonna be so ungraceful, just, but. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna come off fine. You just gotta. It's not just coming off butter. It's okay. Cause that part will be where the cream is. Look at that, folks. Do you see that? So oh, man. much ah, better. It's fine. Look at God. Won't he flip? Okay, you. so now we gotta roll it. Um, let it cool for a while on a wire rack, and then once that's done, we'll come back and add the cream cheese. Oh yes, honey. She's moist and juicy, baby. Yes, she's more round, more plump in the rump. Come on, honey. Perfect. So we gonna let her cool off. Cool Maybe off. 10 minutes. Cool off, cool off. And then we'll be back. We finished doing that, so all we gotta do is roll it back up. We don't need the cloth anymore because it should just roll on its own, they say, but it's kind of sticking to the cloth a little bit. Oh. It's fine, I'm sure the more you roll it, the easier it'll be. Well, I mean, it's nice and moist. There we go. It just had to get to the powdered sugar. Oh, yes, baby. Look at her. Now we're gonna put it in the fridge and then we'll be back. Now we have to cut off the ends because apparently once you do that, you can see the swirl better. And then this will be our like a breath Because that's the first knife I got. Not bad. That little treat better. for me. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Good. It is good. It's like the perfect sponge. Okay, you guys. I'm trying to get as close as possible. Be careful, don't drop it. There we go. That is our finished product. One thing we realized is that we probably could have rolled it a little bit tighter in this world. It would have just been, been Yeah, it would have been more around. around like that but it's okay she's not wearing her waist trainer that's fine it's just us that's all we have for today thanks for joining us for yet again another baking challenge let us know if you want us to continue doing these if you want failing at them <laughs> yeah you can recommend something in the comments for us to bake next but other than that thank you for joining us i had a good time i hope you had a good time until next time bye
I'm not gonna say bye. 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 Bye, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.